Excited for the day? Oh yeah. Always. So the day of, I forgot to explain what we were doing. So to kind of bring you up to speed, we were installing some steel ornamental panels. The posts were already in the ground, so we're just basically attaching the panels. It's a pretty simple process, but it still takes some some knowledge of what you're doing to make them actually look good and level because of the way the brackets go. Also, Joe will be back next week. I'm just filling in because he's been busy and it's easier this way. You'll get rid of me soon, don't worry. Oh, now Beulah is running. As long as your posts are set correctly and at the right distance, it's a pretty simple process once you get into it. You literally just put up the panel and screw it on on either side and you're pretty much good to go. There's some spots where you might have to cut the panel and then screw it on, but this job was pretty simple and there was only a few cuts. You're making a lot of noise over here. <laughs> Comment below if you think Bueller should become a professional dancer instead of fence builder. Twist and you can offset or you can do it. Oh. So these are some new hinges that we were trying because the normal ones that we use we can't get in right now. And at first we thought like you can only use them if you offset the gate from the fence, which was kind of weird. Then the guys played around with it a bit more and then realized that you could make it flush with the fence. So that was nice. Spin it with your finger there. We're getting an exact top space. And that's pretty much it for the steel panels. I mean, it took the guys a few hours to do the whole thing after the posts were set. Hopefully soon I will be going out when they actually set posts, that way you get to see that process as opposed to just the latter part. These are just the jobs that we've had available that I can go on. So hopefully soon we'll get the whole process, which that would be cool. Oh, hey, what's up, Eric? What's up, Jamal? What you up to in here? Oh, just shipping out some packages. Oh, cool. Well, I was just telling them what the secret code word is. You want to tell them? Sure, I'll tell them. The secret code word is eco clean. Good job, Eric. Give me some, Jamal. Uh, basically, through one house pallet, the two by four of uh, pigots. You gotta put it right, you gotta put the lens right on his nose. Now, if you've been watching the channel much, you know that the last Friday of the month is Final Friday. Normally, Joe will like cook lunch for us and then normally like tri-tip, which is super good. And then some people bring sides if they want or whatever. This time, Eric thought it'd be a good idea for us to do a potluck. So everybody from the office brought in stuff for everyone to eat. It was great. The food was awesome. 10 out of 10. Good job, guys. I definitely brought something. Yeah, it was great. It was a good hit. I think we're going to plan to do that again sometime because it was really fun. I'm making um, vodka sauce pasta. And then uh, Eric brought some buffalo chicken dip right there. It's, it's pretty good. Um, and then we got meatloaf. We got this job. And then we got some cornbread right here. Go on. Just the key. Get in there. Cajun. Were you sure. Get in there. Yeah. Hey. Uh, three meatloaf. Who made that? Three Did you really? I mean, three steps. Like good ideas come from TikTok, so this one's from there. Uh, and it's. What was that? It was a wave. Okay. Hello. It looked camera. like a weird salute. It was like. 
After party. The after party to see. Okay, and there you have it. That's another week, super short week, I know. The next few are probably gonna be pretty short like this, kind of like the last one. Partially on purpose, partially just because we didn't have a lot going on. It's kind of a mix, so we're gonna see how they do and then kind of adapt from there. If you guys like the shorter ones, let us know in the comments below, and if you prefer the long ones, also let us know. That way we kind of know what to keep doing. So until next time, I'm Joe Ever. I don't, was this written for me?